wanted to build a retirement home and if we were going to do it, we were going to do it 100%. We did a lot of research before we started the process. We did a lot of research. And uh, you know, we're lucky enough to find a wonderful builder. The first time I met Mike and Peg was at another net zero house that we had under construction where the walls were still open. Mike, who was very focused and interested in the energy efficiency of the house, was able to see how the house was actually built. No one else was coming to the table with 10 inch thick walls. During that time, Peg, maybe a little bit more interested in the aesthetics of the house, was also able to see that we were able to build a house that met what she wanted. Well, for me, I was looking for a modern farmhouse style that had a New England look and more of a modern look inside with lots of natural materials, you know, wood, stone, things like that. 10 to 12 inch thick double wall is the wall system I've been building for 10 years now. And we also like to use dense pack cellulose. A, it's recycled. B, you don't have any adverse health effects from it. And it also resists mold growth, insects, or rodents. The house is so tight that when I turn on the exhaust fan over the stove, the doors show a little more resistance in closing the <laughs> exterior doors, okay? It is very tight. The whole thermal envelope is basically wrapped in insulation where you really minimize an energy loss. The house has double hung windows versus what you see a lot of times on a net zero house is casement or a tilt and turn window. The windows that we chose are kind of like a, a good middle ground between having a high solar heat gain window and a low solar heat gain window. The windows in this house are actually just double glazed Marvin windows, um, not the triple glazed windows. So perhaps one of the weaker spots, but it's still a very good window. This house has a metal roof. It doesn't play a huge factor as far as the efficiency, but it does play a huge factor in the durability of the house. This roof should last 100 years. This home has a geothermal heat pump, which is not always seen in these high-performance homes, but this is a bigger home, so it makes sense when you have those larger homes. Overall, the geothermal system is more expensive, but it is also more efficient than an air source heat pump. The house has a heat pump water heater, which extracts heat from the air and basically transfers that into a hot water tank. Heat pump water heaters also have a side benefit that they also dehumidify your basement in the summer. The house has a grown nature RV. It's bringing air into the house and extracting air out of the house. So you get fresh air, feeling of having your windows open without the energy penalty. So we've got a very low load home. It has a HERS index of 37 before any photovoltaic is taken into account. And they've got a significant 12 and a half kW system on the roof there that will reduce the HERS index down to minus 14. We're big believers in climate change and we feel good about what we've done here in terms of the legacy we're leaving for our children and our children's children. You know when you go on vacation and you rent someone else's beautiful home and you sit down with your glass of wine and you're like, this is the life. We feel this way every day. Every night. Every day.